the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 294, Mark 11 to 13, the last week. Jesus, who preached the gospel mostly in Galilee and to the Jerusalem, and walked step by step towards his final mission. First point, Jesus walked towards his final mission as he entered Jerusalem. Jesus' final week is recorded in Mark chapters 11 to 16. Now, Jesus entered Jerusalem to carry out his final mission. Mark closely recorded Jesus' actions as he gave courage and strength to the people. The reference to the kingdom of the Israelites' ancestor David only appears in the book of Mark. This was a way of welcoming Jesus into Jerusalem as the son of David. These people failed to see that Jesus would soon take the cross, resurrect, and then become the glory of the kingdom of God. At the time, the people of Judea hoped for the strong Messiah, recorded by Amos and Isaiah. However, Isaiah had recorded both the strong Messiah and also the Messiah who would suffer. Jesus as such entered Jerusalem with many people praising him and then took his disciples to Bethany. Second point, Jesus taught his disciples about faith and prayer through the instant of the dried up fig tree. After entering Jerusalem, Jesus looked around and then headed to Bethany with his disciples at night. The next morning, Jesus went from Bethany back to Jerusalem, and this was where Jesus came across a fig tree. Jesus looked at the leaves around the figs and spoke. Jesus cursed the figs, but this was not just a curse on the tree. It was a prediction that Jerusalem would fall. The next day, Peter saw that the figs dried up and so asked Jesus about it. With this, Jesus taught them about faith and prayer. Jesus taught them to have faith in God, to not have doubts to pray and believe that God would listen and to forgive others. Third point, the issue of tax since the ancient day until now remains a sensitive issue. Mark chapter 12 records Jesus' parable about the vineyard farmer and then tax. Until recently, the Sanhedrin assembly had sent their best debaters to super controversy with Jesus. However, they were publicly embarrassed by Jesus. Now, Jesus entered the praying field of the Sanhedrin assembly, which was Jerusalem, and they once again tried to cause trouble. The first issue they threw was about tax. At the time, the issue of tax was a huge problem, as the Roman Empire had legislated for the people of Judea to pay an enormous sum. We can see just how serious this issue was with the birth of Jesus, as everyone was asked to register in order to pay tax. The Roman Empire at the time provided the people with bread and circus, and this was a part of their tolerance policy. The Romans also had a policy of paying the tax collectors in order to make sure that not a penny was left. Tax collectors were seen as traitors and were extremely frowned upon. Matthew and Zacchaeus were both tax collectors during this time, but the assembly came to Jesus with this very sensitive issue. They asked Jesus whether it was right of them to pay tax to the Roman Empire. If Jesus said yes, the Jews who followed Jesus until now would turn against him. If he said no, then this would have been a revolt against the Roman Empire. Jesus instead told them to show him a coin. It had the face of the emperor on it. 
He told them to give to Caesar what is Caesar's, and to God what belongs to God. Fourth point: To the teacher of the law who agreed to Jesus' teaching, Jesus told him that he was not far from the kingdom of God. The fact that Jesus entered Jerusalem was worrying news for the Sanhedrin assembly. When their question to Jesus about the tax was resolved by Jesus' answer, a teacher of the law came to ask a question. Jesus replied to him, and the teacher of the law who asked agreed with Jesus' answer. He was one of the few people from the Sanhedrin assembly who actually listened to Jesus. Therefore, Jesus had good things to say about him. Fifth point: Peter, John, James, and Andrew asked Jesus about the end of the world. There were many people who came and attacked Jesus with their very little knowledge about the Bible. Jesus therefore told them to refrain from speaking and rebuked them. After rebuking them, Jesus praised the widow who made an offering to God. Then Jesus went on to predict that the Jerusalem temple would fall soon. The reason Jesus said this was because of the sins in the Jerusalem temple. Although they called it a temple, it was actually a place used for all sorts of evil activity, and Jesus judged this. Jesus predicted the fall of the temple and then taught his disciples about the end of the world. Then Peter, John, James, and Andrew asked Jesus more about the end of the world. Jesus gave them a reply. Jesus encouraged them that the Holy Spirit would always be with them. After this, the Sanhedrin assembly threatened Jesus during the second trial, and this led unto the third trial. The fourth trial later was the stoning of Stephen. And in the fifth trial, they made Saint Paul stand in front of them. Jesus continued to speak about his second coming. In chapter thirteen, Jesus told them to stay awake. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tom Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world, understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in. In the Word of God, and that's why a a a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The Scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.